All right, welcome. Today we are looking at the new 2022 wing board from Starboard. This week, the first of the boards of 2022 wing foiling have arrived here in Spain, and we take a first look at one of them. But before we get started, let's roll the intro. I'm Frederik Ekmark, and this is Life Through the Lens. All right, here we have the new 2022 Starboard Wingboard. This is the model called Litech. Uh, it's a more affordable model, but still light and strong. Wing foiling is a fast moving sport and the material we use are also changing all the time. So for 2022, we see some nice and new features and improvements on the Starboard boards. There are two models with two different builds to choose from. The blue carbon and this one Litech. Also one size comes in the ASAP, as strong as possible, a model for schools and rentals. Blue, car blue carbon is lighter and is aimed at top performance and the light tech is a board with the same features but with fi fiberglass instead of carbon. However, this adds a bit of extra weight, about one kilo extra. The sizes of the boards have changed for 2022. They are shorter but with a lot more volume. They have built them to be stable and the volume is away from where you stand in the tail, in the nose, in the rails. Another important feature for stability is to have the feet close to the foil. The concave deck helps to lower the distance between the foil and the rider, thus improving stability. Here are the sizes for 2022. You can see they're all new. There are also some more sizes to choose from this year. The prices here in Spain for a light tech board is about 1,079 euros and the carbon model sells for around 1850. Now, Starboard has a long tradition of making boards. The company started 27 years ago from inflatable subboards to hard boards for racing, paddle surf for waves, wind surfing boards, and now also these foil boards. They have a lot of knowledge and you can trust the Starboard to be great and deliver. The Starboards are the exclusive board brand for the IQ windsurf foil class in the next Olympics. A lot of that knowledge is of course put into these wing boards. As you can see, the sign and colors are great, keeping the white uh, base color from last year in this light tech model and some new design uh, of the colors. One thing I noticed directly was how nice the top of the board is. The shape is still concave to give you an extra good feel when the board isn't lying flat. The material of the pad has changed. Last year's model was nice and soft, but a bit fragile. And this new deck pad is much better. I know from the starboard boards I've paddled uh, over the years that this type of pad really just works. It's a great new feature, it's more durable and covers a little bit more of the board uh, without putting uh, too much weight uh, on it. Here are some technical details given by starboard. It's extra rigidity by introducing unid unidirectional stringy bands and solid material. And an added extra reinforcement in, in the nose and rail those parts that are extra vulnerable. Reinforced standing area with Australian pine for extra impact and resistance on a critical area. All inserts have added high density foam reinforcements all over the board. Now the foot straps inserts are wider apart than last year. So for everyone riding with foot straps for 2022, you will have a great possibility to get better control. By having them a bit loose, the trim of the board uh, will be easier and if you fall in you can get your feet out easier. Now the blue carbon board comes with the foot straps but the light trek um, you buy the foot strap separately. Also new a self-adjusting valve uh, you don't need to do anything with this valve just let it be and it will protect your board it will keep the board safe during changes in temperature and when traveling but remember your board does not like to be out in the sun for too long. Two leash attachments point um, that carried over from last year, one at the back and one at the mid front, meaning you can attach uh, the board leash from your waist belt or your leg to the front as well. For example, this can help to keep the leash out of the water dragging behind you if you have it uh, at the back. Now let me know in the comments below if you are or will be using the forward attachment point for your leash. Another detail, there are added channels here on the back of the board to lead the water away when you're riding so the water is not standing on the board. Now the tail packs some volume, how to get this board floating and also to get up and out of the water easy. 
when you make a board with a shorter length. To keep the volume, you have to put the liters in the width or in the thickness. Here you can see that this board have got quite thick rails, uh, rounded off front nose, good rocker to help you get out of the water when you're preparing to fly or not to get stuck if you uh, hit the water. Midway, you can see a clear change in the construction. Sharper edges, the cutout channels are here to make an easier release from the water. Uh, this type of cutout rails are found uh, windsurf models uh, of starboard. Now these two channels helps to keep the board directional, going straight when it's in the water or when you are touching them. There's a new carry handle, which is a lot larger than first last year. A uh, little wider and it's welcome addition for easy handling of the board. Not everyone is carrying uh, a, a light and small foil, especially when you are learning. You have a bigger foil and it weighs more. Uh, a new added bigger handle is a welcome change. About two thirds of the board here, you have a very flat area. This area is to help you to get speed and um, improve the board and help the board coming out faster. Now, the placement of the fin box is also further forward than the 2021 models. There's a new larger fin box to help you adjust the foil mass in better positions to help us with our preference when we are out riding. The cardboard says the fin box is provided to make early lift or fast takeoff and easy trim when upright. The, the tail of the board has a nice cutoff to assist you to get out of the water as fast as possible. Really helpful when pumping the board. All in all, Starboard have made some good improvements over last year's model. And this year's boards are better, easier to handle and shorter for easy handling, but still keep a good volume to float well. Is this a board I would recommend? Yes. My experience with Starboard boards over the years is they make top-notch boards. So to purchase this board will be a good investment. I will come back to you with another video when I've had some time with this one on this water um, and to give you another review how they handle when you actually use them. Okay guys, this wraps up the first look of the 2022 Starboard Wing Board. It looks great, what do you think? Is it a board for you or do you have any questions about the 2022 Starboard Wing Board range? Let me know in the comments below and I will answer all your questions. Um, well, that was all from me today. Hope you enjoyed this first look of the 2022 Starboard Wing Board. I will see you, yes, I will see you in the next video. Over and out, Fredrik Ekmark and Life Through the Lens.